All right, Hunter, here's my pet peeve tweet of the night. Okay. The Lakers. <laughs> you ready for me to say it? You know Finish. what I'm going to say? <laughs> yes. You know what I'm going to say? Yeah, go ahead. Let me take this off. I'm gonna take it. We're done with baseball. <laughs> We're done. We're done with baseball. This stuff is so you know, copywriters are just awful. All right, the Lakers win their first title since 2010. It's been ten years. <laughs> not the not the sixteen prior. <laughs> That's what I have to say. Okay, now do since 2000 or 90 or 80. Oh, yeah, they've won their fifth title since 1980. I mean, like, I hate. I just hate it for people that's listened before. What I'm talking about is sports thing. The inevitably, every time something happens, mm-hmm. you can go on Twitter, Facebook, ESPN, whatever, and there'll be a headline somewhere. Yeah, it'll say for the first time since Lakers have won 17 championships, mm-hmm. and they say the first time since 2010. What about the 17th time since 1967? Well, they the don't Hornets think of it. it. Well, they say, Listen. for the first time since ever. ever. Like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just bad English. For the first time since Michael Jordan bought the team. Well, that's it's the so, first time ever, first it's so of all. so stupid. It drives me crazy. I mean, it just, I'm just... I, nobody, listen, it's because nobody ever says, like, for the third time since, or the fifth time I since. Know. It's always, for the first time since. I know. I hate that, too. And I'm, <laughs> I, I'm just surprised I most of these storylines did not say Lakers win title in year of... Kobe Bryant's death. I was expecting those kind of headlines everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually kind of glad that they didn't because this team did work very hard. Quote, quote, sort of, kind of. It was kind of an easy path. That's beside the point. They went on to win (laughs) the championship, but their goal was to win the championship whether or not Kobe did pass. You know, it, it's just mm-hmm. unfortunate that that's the case. So I'm I'm kind of happy that that's not not one of the big headlines that's going around. It's giving this team credit, not trying to overshadow them with what they did with the passing of Kobe Bryant. So that's fine. And I'll just say this: Hey, congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers. But that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that's it. That's all I have to say because, like I said to start the show off, mm-hmm. I have been more enamored with what has been happening in the football world, whether it's college and pro, or the baseball playoffs, than the NBA finals. Can I make a request for next year NBA talk? Yeah, a request, yes. Yes. I'm making a request that the only NBA we talk next year, until LeBron is eliminated from the playoffs, is Hornets basketball. We don't talk about any other NBA players. There's no reason to. I mean, not if not if the referees in the NBA is going to do what they did this year. There's there's no reason to. Oh, okay. You got you got a an eight seed, a five seed, a three seed, and a five seed, and you beat a guy who's not in the top ten in the finals, and now all of a sudden, here we go again. The greatest of all time. Kobe's year, he died. Lakers in a ballroom. Hunter, I'd be scared to death if I was you. If I was a Braves fan, LA's about to win all three championships. Rams. Lakers and Dodgers. Well, I picked the Rams to make the playoffs, so that'd be kind of <laughs> nice. But no, I'm just. Uh, I don't know. This stuff is all silly. I will agree we'll, we'll, with. I will agree with you that it is. You can raise your eyebrows with how the league officiates certain games than others in the NBA because it is easier to sway that way than maybe other sports. We're going to call it tight today. We're going to call it loose today. We're going to let them play. Are we not going to let them play? Is it an off-ball foul here? Is it not an off-ball foul later in the half? Just just the legitimacy. 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 There you go. God, my son walks in there. I forgot how to talk. Uh, Of game five, heat one. Mm. Game six, the Lakers win by 30 or whatever it was. They blew them out. Well, like. I I am out like that to never eat. Happens in I am any out other to eat, and it's like a two point game at the first quarter. Right. I get home right. and check the score. Heat or heat or losing by thirty. I said, "What happened in the ten minutes it took <laughs> me to go from this restaurant home?" One of the some of the some of the fun tweets I saw was uh, LeBron beat a a uh, was it two undrafted players and a D League player or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> in the finals, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. without their starter point guard, Corey tried to play, but Dragic took five shots 
the whole series. Oh, Hunter, if I, we come in this series and I say Gord, Gordon Dragic gets five shots, what are you going to say? Oh, a guy that was averaging like 20 plus on the <laughs> season is only going to shoot five times? Okay. <laughs> or he a shot or only made five. Either way, it, it, you're not winning that way. And, no. and again, we just want a competitive so Denver was way more competitive. Um, and mm-hmm. it, 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 yes. And they didn't play, they were missing their stars. Think about it. They beat Denver without their starting small forward. They beat the Heat without their starting point guard. They beat the Rockets and, with no center. Right. And they beat the Trailblazers without two of their star, two of their players. Uh, not stars, but one of them was a star, Rodney Hood. and. Uh, oh, yeah. Rodney Hood was out and, for and the season. Was Zach and, Collins? Uh, yes, the other Zach one was Collins. Out? He was the other big man. So they, they didn't beat a single team at full force. Well, a full bat, real basketball team. And then you could say, well, the Lakers weren't for a full force. The only person they were missing was Avery Bradley. Right. That's it. Now, nobody told me that Rondo was going to turn back the hands of time. Rondo played and fantastic. just play fantastic. Um, Rondo did. He did. He, in fact, I think it was games. One of the games against Denver. I, I told someone. I said he was hitting won, The reason they won that game was because of Rondo. It is weird seeing Rondo playing with LeBron. Like, and it's weird seeing Rondo in a Lakers uniform. All that. Yeah, he was He's the Celtics. first player to win a championship for the Celtics and the Lakers. Will the, will the Celtics retire Rondo's number? Probably not now. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, thought, you thought the Celtics <laughs> might have thought about retiring Ray Allen's number? Not anymore. No, those two. He went to the heat. I mean, it, it's funny. It's funny in basketball. But now that brings up the point with you saying retiring jerseys. So LeBron's done it now with the Lakers. Does he get a statue? <laughs> Does he get his number retired? No. Where? That's what I'm saying. Where? Like, is it a Laker? Mm-hmm. Is it in Cleveland? The only place I think that would retire him his number is Cleveland. But even then, he screwed him twice. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he brought him a championship, but he screwed him twice. Well, and I want to really elaborate on this because I don't think people really give enough credit to what kind of a general manager LeBron James really is. Did you see? Because he shipped off that whole Lakers team practically outside of Kyle Kuzma that didn't make the playoffs without him last year are they and brought champ- in all of his buddies this year. Are they the champs if the Warriors are healthy this year? I don't, 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 they can't outshoot the Warriors, so I don't know. All I right. don't know because I haven't. The, 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 think, about, think about this. I can't say that because I don't know what the Warriors would look like su- post Kevin Durant with would everything else that they have. Would you be surprised if next year's finals was Nets Warriors? No, that's two teams that didn't even play in the playoffs this year. Well, and the Nets bo- played, but that's that's two teams <laughs> that did not play in the ballroom playoff in the hotel playoffs this year. Whoever the hell they were running out there was not the the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> now, whether or not. Now Kyrie's a moron with this. I don't need a coach type thing. Damn, he's an idiot. And 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 listen, let, let me say something about Kevin Durant. I think Kevin Durant may be the most talented offensive scoring basketball player we've ever seen in the history of basketball. With that said, when we say LeBron don't have that Jordan thing, Kevin Durant don't have that Jordan thing. No, he's not a killer. When they played in that first finals, Hunter, I was like, we're going to see six finals, seven finals between LeBron and Durant. And Durant and that, we got to get to that finals. I, I used to play on those NBA games. I love Kevin Durant. Coming mm-hmm. out of college, everything. This team, this is the team. And then that finals hard and ball hauled like crazy. And Durant deferred to those two. Mm-hmm. And, and, and for years, I said, you can't have – Someone other than Kevin Durant taking more shots than Kevin Durant. You people forget, even Steph Curry let Kevin Durant take more exactly. shots he than did. he did. It was very close. He deferred. He deferred. The, Kevin Durant fine line. knew. You, Kevin, you yeah. have to let the best player take the most shots. Kevin Durant knew this was Steph Curry's team, right. but Steph Curry knew Kevin Durant had to be the one that takes the most they, shots. Right. But Kevin Durant did not go into that room mm. saying, I need the most shots. Mm. He doesn't have that dog in him now he is i will never take away from what kevin durant can do on the basketball court because he is fantastic and amazing you know I, he's even he doesn't even get enough credit for what he does on the defensive side of the ball with just his length and his size alone that, that i mean sure he might not be the greatest defensive player but just a, a seven foot mm-hmm. and can guard your six nine wing player does lebron want him guarding him uh, no. <laughs> well, LeBron will just take him to the rack and they'll call a foul anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but LeBron doesn't want to guard Kevin Durant. Mm-hmm. 
You know why? Because LeBron is probably going to try and force him whichever way, and it doesn't matter. KD just going to rise up on him. KD is what Anthony Davis wants to be as an offensive scorer. He wants to be able to be, pick up the ball whenever he wants, wherever on the floor, put the shot up, and it goes in. Mm. But Anthony Davis needs to realize he's better at a closer range than Kevin Durant. Well, Kevin Durant's still better, but what I mean by that is like he just can't score nearly at the range the, the that sh- Kevin Durant listen, can. Kevin, Kevin Durant's shot is perfect, and he's seven foot tall. That's that's the point. Anthony Davis can shoot. Yes, but he but he's got a long shot. And what I mean Do, by D- Durant has got. Man, could you know. imagine a team that had LeBron James and Kevin Durant on it from the get go? Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have lost. But um, I hate, because, listen. I love. I this think that would have been probably the greatest team of all time because. LeBron James, he knows he doesn't have to shoot more than Kevin Durant. He would have facilitated. He would have let Durant score, and other and like Westbrook and Harden wouldn't. And that that's the difference between those teams. Um, You know, with Anthony Davis is going to be a free agent. He's going to resign, but yes, maybe. I think he resigns. I think he does too, but. Um, the problem is everybody else on that Lakers squad is going to be a free agent too. That's true too. Because a lot of the key role players that, that LeBron James brought in, one year guys, how about this? I saw this tweet last night and it was crazy. Who would have thought that Dwight Howard would win an NBA championship in Orlando? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did it. In Orlando, just not for the Orlando Magic. Now, Sticking with that, with the and with the Lakers, and with the Lakers, who the first round he basically outran T- out of town. Terry needs to apologize, to Dwight Howard. Well, I was going to ask you this: does this <laughs> bump, does this solidify him as a Hall of Famer? He was already a Hall of Famer. I know he was already a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he's definitely not. But he's solidified. I mean, was, you can't. Argue. There's no question. Now. I mean, <laughs> I even even if he didn't, before. even if he didn't have a big role in this series, I mean, he played a big role in the Denver series. Whenever he was bodying up Jokic, him and JaVale, when they bodied up against Jokic, he played a big role there. His, Dwight had his moments this year. He's not the same Dwight that single-handedly no. took Orlando to the finals. I had somebody tell me that today. You know, yeah. someone in our Zoom call today for school brought up, he said, Hunter, uh, I know you, you cover sports. I just have a question for you. Does this make LeBron James a goat? I said no, because it's not six for six. At no fine, like there's no six for six. And then somebody chimed in. I don't know who it is, but he chimed in and he said, first of all, Michael was playing against scrubs. Nobody in that era was as skilled as they were today." And that about that about sent me ballistic. And then he said, "Michael couldn't get past the first round until he got Scotty while he was younger. LeBron." Carried the Cavaliers there one time. I said, first of all, I don't remember LeBron James going through Larry Bird and the and those Boston Celtics or Isaiah Thomas and those Pistons. And I said, and and I should have said this, but I didn't think about it. Even Dwight Howard carried a team in the East to the finals. Right, but also with the Cavs thing, Hunter, he had two All Stars on his team. Right, he had Mo. No, he had, but nobody but gives nobody, those, nobody, nobody gives them credit or gives them credit or anything. Mo Williams is Adrenus the Galkus, made all star teams in Cleveland, and they were on the Cleveland Cavaliers, which meant that team alone, that team alone had more all stars than Michael Jordan ever played with. That's before we even get to Miami, before we get to LA, before right. we get back to Cleveland. That team alone, only, and only would, one and player not... in only hold on, only one player that ever played with Michael Jordan made the all star team, and that was Scottie Pippen. And LeBron has had. Let's talk. Uh, you know, we got Z, we've got Mo, Mo Dwayne, Bosh, Wade, Bosh, Kyrie, Kyrie. Did didn't, Ray Allen make it while he was a teammate? Uh, didn't Kevin, Kevin Love, Love definitely make it? made it? Uh, Anthony Davis. Mm-hmm. Let's say Ray Allen may or may not have. I'm not 100 sure. But doesn't matter if you even if you put even him on there. Even if he didn't at seven, if he did, it's eight. He's played with eight All Stars mm-hmm. that made it on his team, and he said, and "We played Scotty one." And I told, and him. what does well, again, Hunter? We're real quick in Game Six of the '98 Finals. Scotty Pippen had eight points, right? 
Let's, LeBron let's, let's and Michael off, had 40. Let's get off that bandwagon. Listen, I, listen, I tried to tell him. I tried to tell him. And I will sit here and I'll say this in front of everybody. I will not take away the championships that LeBron James has won. The one with Cleveland was a bona fide. That was the team on his back when they came back 3-1 to one but, against the Warriors. But what happened in that they did kick. Draymond did kick kicked out. <laughs> I mean, he kicked a dude in the nuts, but right. they did lose Draymond. And did he beat him with Kevin Durant on the floor? No. Okay. That is a super team. Every one of his championships has an asterisk. Every one. I of don't them. know if every one of them has every an asterisk. Every one of them. He's four for four asterisks. First one, you played the baby Thunder. Yeah. Second one, you did what? Who did you beat? He beat San Antonio. Oh, the, the, the miracle San Antonio shot on the tap the out Ray, rebound with Ray Allen in the corner. Okay. There's your asterisk. Then the third one, I just gave you the asterisks. Then the fourth one, we're playing in a ballroom against five seeds and eight but I seeds. won't listen. I won't give the I'll asterisks. I'll four. S- I will still say, you know what? Great. LeBron James <laughs> did win those championships. But outside of Golden State, which one of them had a bona fide top 10 player, top 15 player in the league still? San Antonio, Kawhi was a baby. He was still a baby. Manu Ginobili and Tony Parker were still getting up there in age. Tim Duncan was not prime Tim Duncan. Do you know what the salary cap is in the NBA? I have no idea what the salary let me, let me, cap is. And the only okay. reason I'm getting to that is, you know, I brought, you know, it made me really mad. I didn't want to show it. Hunter, I just, what? But it made me mad whenever he said Michael Jordan wasn't playing near any of the guys' skill level today. He said Michael Jordan only shot like three three threes a game. I said, yeah, and he still averaged 30 points in his career. <laughs> like, And I had to tell him. More he did he, he did not write a paper on this. I had to tell him. I said, you got to remember, the three-point line wasn't even introduced to Michael Jordan until he was still in college. <laughs> like, like, come on now. You, yeah, you got to th- think about it. I told him. hit in 82. There was no I, gotta, t- I had to tell him, like, look, you got to remember, all these guys that are playing today, you can call them more skilled because they can shoot the three-point at a higher percentage, but they've been shooting three-pointers like that since they were five. <laughs> They're three-point lines on Optimus courts. Yeah. Like, everybody has had the three-point line. I, I just And then I said, look, don't say Michael Jordan didn't play against skilled players because let's and I had to tell him I said don't forget Carl Malone still has the most points in NBA history. Why is it John Stockton is the NBA lead assist man? Right. He played both of them twice. He played Sean Kemp and Gary Payton. St- uh, Stockton's also the all-time leader in steals. I, I'm just like I don't like, <laughs> think about that. What do you mean by skills? Just because they have better steals. handles today? No, this is, and what, they, er- this is what they mean. Hunter. And not, but also this, and I had to tell him this too. I said, look, and everybody wants to say one on one. You also LeBron, know height weights wrong. To, to it is. We talked about that. And, you know, and I had to tell him this. And I said, look, and you can say LeBron should be better because he's 6'9 and like 260. If anything, that should credit for what Michael did because he was 6'6 right. six, six and right. was dominating. Right. 100% right. And that's. I will give LeBron his props. He said he wants his damn respect. You got your respect. I, I can admit it. But I just. What you've done, cool. Well, Michael did. Wow, it's it, it's the all it's the whole. I think it's the whole ten vi- time scoring champ, five time defensive player of the year. It's like the, it's the whole video game. Um, you know, taller, bigger, if, faster, stronger, right, and, and I well, and I wrote a paper distri- he, like distinguishing that. LeBron is basically Carl Malone with Stockton's ball skills. Like if Stockton and Carl Malone had a baby, that, mm-hmm. that's the best way. LeBron can LeBron can dunk. Carl Malone can dunk. When they're wide open in space, it looks like they get really high and dunk really hard. But how, how often do you see LeBron and Carl Malone actually dunk in traffic? Doesn't happen. Not much at all. LeBron's thing is he wants to go off glass, left side off glass. He wants to bump you out of the way and go mm-hmm. off glass. So he wants to, to get that in one. To me, they're, the, they're they're you know they're just different people, different players. I don't understand why people get upset being well, like the thing with Albert Pujols and Trout. If I say you're not as good as Albert Pujols, it's not an insult. Because I didn't finish the rest good. of the sentence. Right. Like, Hunter, you're not as good as Barry Bonds. Are you, Damn. Are your feelings hurt? <laughs> he's, a, he's an animal. <laughs> <clears throat> so, listen, Jordan is Jordan, uh, different different types of things. When you win, when he get, if he gets six, then we'll have the discussion. I think it's insulting to even have it. Six championships in 17 years. I mean, he's got four championships in 17 years. Jordan had six and 13. We went over... Uh, the fact that the only time you know he didn't get an all star until what his third year or fourth year until Scotty made the all star team, 
Then Scotty had a headache in the in Game Seven or whatever. Didn't play. Didn't play. And so the two he had a bad back right. against the Jazz, right. and that about screwed him. Now uh, LeBron to, to me has uh, also been to multiple Game Sevens. Michael never a lot made of this it to also, a Game Seven. A lot of this also is is the whole like let's say if you, the Shaq argument. Like when people start naming players all the time, and they'll tell you top ten. Now today, mm-hmm. Shaq gets thrown in there. Right. But I'm gonna tell you this: in 2005, after he'd won his three chase championships or whenever it was, people weren't still weren't putting Shaq in the top ten. But now, 10, 15 years later, that everybody says, "Oh, he's the most." Do-. What people have been saying, "He's the most dominant." Whatever that means. What does that mean? How are you dominant getting out rebounded by Charles Barkley? Mm. How are you dominant getting out rebounded by Larry Bird at small right. forward? So. Yes, if you want to say dominant, him and LeBron play the same way. They run through the defender, let the refs make or not make the call, and then let the pieces fall as they may. You can call that skill. You can call that just playing out size. I'm calling it just straight up size. Now, I'll take every single day of the week a Olajuwon over Shaq, and it's not even a question. Like, you can sit there and pick Shaq. I will laugh and say, I got a Keem. Mm-hmm. And not one second am I afraid of that. And he's right. got him by 50, 60 pounds. And I don't care because the team's going to wear him out and kill him. He did it already. So that's what I. That's the thing when people say the Michael and the, and the LeBrons. And the, it's a different ways of playing, playing basketball. And, and to say, yes, yeah, Shaq's just going to run over you and we're going to allow it, that's, that's a – that skill is not as much as as what this David Robinson did, or, or or what Akeem Olajuwon did, and it's just weird. It's just different. Uh, I don't know. Just when when the statement came out, yeah. that Michael play like they weren't as skilled in Michael's era <laughs> as they were now. Like, what is, does he not think that Kareem in his era is just as skilled at what he could do as some of the players today? Is it just come down to watching Kyrie Irving and what he can do with the ball? Right, so we've got a thing also. That, that's, an, that's, an, that's a great point, Hunter. Like, is it just a ball skill? Right. It's a great point to where I try to, I try to tell people there's millions and millions and millions of people on this planet between 6'4 and 5'10 who are really good at basketball. Mm-hmm. The best basketball players in the NBA are the point guards. Look, they're all scoring. They all have those I skills. had to make the note as well. I said, you got to remember, too, Michael played in a time where there were seven-footers in the paint. All the time, two and, of them. A lot and of, their job, and, to foul and my teacher, <laughs> my my professor came out and said he even he had input too. He said, "Look, I watched Michael Jordan play eighty games one season." He said, "Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time." He said, "He said you could what he went up against with the Knicks and the Pistons, basically coming at him with guns and knives every time they played was unmatched." I mean, I, and I had to, and I threw out there. I said, "Yeah, that you, people don't don't act like the Jordan rules weren't a thing." I was laughing at some of the video because Friday night I didn't get to see all the highlights and stuff. So about the LeBron passing mm-hmm. and, and how I made fun of him Saturday about in Space Jam two, he he's going to pass, pass the Porky it. Pig. In the I corner. actually was surprised that Danny Green did not hit that. I am too, which is fine, you know. But again, let's say Danny Green's the best. Let's say he's the best three point shooter in the NBA at forty percent. It's still a 60% chance he's going to miss it. Mm-hmm. And everybody's like, why did you miss that? I'm like, okay. The chances of missing <laughs> is greater than the chances of making. It's like I tried to explain to my son, say, I, I said, because so, he got out the other day. I was like, son, the greatest baseball player ever got out seven out of ten times. Yeah. Like, yeah. you have to realize this. Like, you can't succeed every shot, every everything. But but the thing when he was down one, I went. Th- there was a few plays before it. It was right. at, at 20 seconds they showed LeBron. This guy on Twitter, I laughed my ass off because he backed it down to the block mm-hmm. and kept looking for for someone to throw it to, mm-hmm. and the and the double team never came, and he still threw it to I think it was Pope who took a three with twenty seconds left, and he barely got rim, it fell in Anthony Davis's hands and he laid it in, right, and so the guy was like, it's got to be a fade, it's got to be a fade, take the fade, yeah, show you like you should, like take the shot, right, LeBron, take and the it, shot uh, again, you know, and I think uh I think um. Uh, I know exactly why I saw it because Andre had retweeted it, um, and he said MJ would never. And and you know again, MJ the, and the, the, Kobe two, would never. There's, two, there's just different styles of it. It's just look again. If you want to say LeBron is the third best wing ever, and end the argument that way, I'll say okay, I'll let you have that. But when you say someone's the greatest ever, that means the best we've ever seen, right? The mm-hmm. greatest of all time. That's that's the one word we're not getting to. The greatest does not pass it to Porky Pig. 
Look, <laughs> and everybody says, well, J- Jordan passed it to Kerr. I mean, Paxson. No, he didn't. He passed it to Horace Grant under the basket, who then kicked it out to John Paxson. Mm. He did pass it to Steve Kerr. Where was Jordan double teamed on that play, Hunter? Was it baseline? No, he was outside the three point line near half court. Like oh, Jordan was not inside the. Paint. I know. That, I know they talked about that uh, in the last dance because the only thing I remember is Jordan looking at him saying, "You better be. You better hit it." Right. They drew up the play, and if the play, if they, if a double team come, it was going to be designed out of the triangle that somebody's going to be open on a double mm-hmm. team. So the play that they were drawing up, Steve was going to be open, and, and he and, looked at Steve and basically said, "You right. You better hit so this." That one time. So in thirteen years, the one time Michael passed it. He was double teamed outside the three point line, and they talked about it in the huddle. Mm-hmm. Like it wasn't again. My LeBron drove into the. This is what drives people crazy about it. He dr- he took the time and effort to drive into the paint, mm-hmm. and then he kicked it out for three to to a lesser known lesser player. But again, if you want the three, why are you driving to the paint? Why don't you just work it around the if perimeter? You, you're down one, Hunter. No, All you need is a two. Or a free throw. I've never been on a basketball court, Hunter, where we're down one and we got the last shot. And they're like three pointer. Let's the, the three is the last resort if they're open because mm-hmm. we'd rather take it to the rack, get a foul called, mm-hmm. go to the line, or get your shot up. And, and that's right. that's that's the frustrating thing about it is is that when, when we get to that point, and then and then of course the easy math of is. Why are we talking about someone winning four championships? Kobe's still got how many? Five. Tim Duncan still got five. five. They both won championships while LeBron was there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. It's it's, it's just weird how, how we get there. I, it's it's a thing of kids today. It's the thing, same thing with trout. Is that you just you, everybody I know. wants today? I know. Happen. You know, in twenty years, Zion Williams going to be the greatest basketball player we've ever seen. Not unless he never wins a ring. <laughs> oh, that don't matter. They've already sh- sailed that ship, Hunter. Well, they have with Mike Trout. All they do, all they're doing is they will come up with some type of basketball stat to war. make Zion. They'll, they'll come up with a basketball, basketball war, war to make Zion the, the greatest. I, I don't know. I, did, I didn't want that to be like a LeBron shame because it's not. It's not a LeBron shame. I still think LeBron is great. I think, and, and you know, Shannon Sharp came on today as one was like, who, how, ain't nobody ever won a championship leading their team in points, rebounds, assists, and he like named off two other guys or something like that. And I was like, okay. Nobody else is trying. Cool. Nobody else is trying. Like, I'm sorry that these teams LeBron plays on, they ask him to do everything. I, I would, You know what I would like to do? Because of my theory about how he was patting the stats patting on staff. those. I'm going to go back and watch. I would like to just have someone go back and count. I know I won't do it because I'm too lazy about it. And watch all of his rebounds and see how many of them he actually boxed someone out on. As opposed to someone shoots a three, everyone else just gets out of lane and lets there. LeBron get the, get the rebound. I don't <laughs> Chris said none of his... Titles have asterisks. I say all four of them do. I don't know. And look. Chris, you're crazy. Shaq is not better than Akeem. Come on. You know that. He smoked him. He swept him. Sweep. Look. LeBron's great. I'll give him that. I still think Michael's above him. There's nothing wrong if you want to go 1A, 1B. Where's Kobe then? Like I said, yeah, when I know. does LeBron skip Kobe? When did that happen? <laughs> That's what I just. I mean, Kobe is another one of those that actually had a three peat. Right. All right. Let, well, okay. Real quick, before we get out of here. All right. Let, let, I mean, not get out of here. We we still got football stuff to to do. Um. Okay. So so for example, let's say. Let's say the two, greatest shooting guards ever. Michael and Kobe. Michael, Kobe. Okay. <clears throat> Who's the two best small forwards ever? Uh, you would argue. LeBron and Bird. Or does Kevin Durant rank? I get so lost where to put Kevin, whether he's the power forward or a small forward. That's why it just I, I don't know where to put him. Well, I'm just saying, like, <coughs> how many times he beat LeBron? Aren't they, what, one or one and one against each other in the finals? Talk for yeah. a minute. When both of them were at full force, I guess, uh, D- Durant beat him um, again, and I know Hunter don't want to hear it or anyone else, but Ginobili has got five titles, beat LeBron in the Olympics, and LeBron had Tim Duncan on his team. 
Ginobili and Fabricio Oberto beat LeBron James and the American basketball team. Uh, you know, just 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 head to head. Uh, Durant won his MVP in the finals. Who was he going up against? LeBron. Like, so let's say Durant wins. So did Iggy. Let's say Durant wins. So did Iggy. Let's say Durant wins four. Let's say he ends his career. They both end. What with does he have right now? Two. Let's we'll say they both end with four. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Are you telling me that LeBron's ranked higher because he has more assists? Because Kevin Durant's going to end up with more points probably by the end. Probably. Because LeBron's points. Are I just still down. have to see how he comes back off of his Achilles injury. Yeah, we got to see that. We got to see that. But more than if you had to ask me, then yes, I would believe he would have more points than LeBron. The problem, the problem that comes into that is what people don't take into consideration for LeBron. It's it's longevity. LeBron is playing in his 17th season. Is Kevin Durant going to make it to 17 seasons? Or is he going to say, I've had enough? That's the same thing we can say with Michael. Michael stopped in between two three-peats and said, I'm going to take a break and play baseball. And then guess what else? He retired after the second three-peat. And we lost a few more years of that. How many three-peats LeBron got? None. He had an opportunity with the Heat, but... The Spurs said went not back this to time. Back, what, once? Uh, yes, that was with the Heat. I'm gonna give you some fuzzy math, right? Mike went back to back four times. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Mike went back to back four times. Technically, yes. <laughs> If you count, if you, if you, yes, he won two, one gap, one, and then another two. He won, he won, he won three, two, three. So if you take those three, the first and second one is, right. is one and two, then two and three is back. Yes. Back. Okay. Yeah, that's so what I had sure. to do. Yeah, that's why. That's why I put the gap in there. I was like, first two, the third yeah. gap, but then there's that fourth, and then the fifth and sixth. Look, if uh, final thought. LeBron James has one thing that Michael Jordan will never ever have, and I and I and I agree. This is one thing Jordan will never have that the LeBron fans have. That's a bronze medal, boys. He's got a bronze medal. <laughs> bronze. Listen. You brought shame. Hey, LeBron's medal, bro. I, shame to this nation. I say this all the time. LeBron, Michael Jordan, LeBron's has something medal. that LeBron can never have, and that That's is college. A college national championship. We actually took a class in college. After, <laughs> after losing Kimball Walker, the Hornets managed to hang around the fringes of the East playoff rates thanks to second-year point guard Devontae Graham's development into a quality starter. The NBA's fourth-worst point differential, Damn, however, this was a hell of a switch. Shows how much room there is for improvement. That started with lottery luck as Charlotte landed the three. Well, don't matter if they don't get it right. Right. <laughs> they can pick me at the three, guys. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I can I go ahead and just slip my name into eligibility right, right. for the NBA draft I mean, and see? Honestly, see if, see if I get picked. Up, if we're gonna mess it up, pick me. Let me get a good, cool ten mil. I mean, I'll, I'll and then what I'll do is I'll retire after my first year and say my my I'm taking my talents to the box office to the office to contend for a playoff spot. The Hornets need more development from Miles Bridges and Malik Monk, Monk, and use effective use of the projected cap oh, space. So they are. Th- so what ESPN is saying is they would much rather have Miles Bridges over P.J. Washington. And I literally said when they drafted P.J. Washington, you just drafted a better shooting Miles Bridges. They're mm-hmm. the same thing. And Malik Monk can't stay off the cocaine. So I don't know exactly what you <laughs> is guys... That what he was on? I don't know. Remember he got suspended? Like, and they didn't indefinitely? Say what it was for? I, no, it was something in his system. And I was like, <laughs> damn, bro, he is high... Because what it was is they did a drug test on him after he had posted like two 20 to 30 point or three. Like it was like a string right. of 20, 30 point games. I'm like, damn, he is hyped up on cocaine right now. Is that what he's I don't know <laughs> if it's true or not. He might just have a weed problem. I'm trying to find but Anthony Davis. It was, a sub- it was something, something, a substance. He didn't say. But I'm with you 100%, you know, what you said about the Hornets. If they want to turn it around. We are Hornets affiliates, by the way, for those of you that are wondering why we did such a hard switch. Hornets affiliates. If they want to have success, they have to get this third pick right. This might be their most pivotal pick since they screwed up the MKG pick. Mm -hmm. You have something this high, 
Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that the talent pool was just loaded. It's it's because it's not. You know, there are guys overseas that you think are a whole lot more developed, but there are also guys here that are really young, but they have that opportunity to pop. And then they have you have the guy in the middle, Lamelo. Does somebody even take a, a jab at him because they want to do? De- they don't want to deal with his dad. I mean, what, what's going to happen to him? But you also got to look at what your core makeup is right now of the Hornets. It's the point guard, Devontae Graham. That's about it. You got a wing in what well, you're saying, Miles Bridges, but he's not a sh- he, he's his game does not translate right now to what they want wings to be in the NBA, which is spot up shooters. You can stand there, catch the ball, and consistently knock down at about 35% from the three-point line. Mm. He's just not doing that. Now, he's an athletic freak and can get to the lane. If you pass it to him out on the, on the perimeter, he can shot fake. But for somebody to bite, he has to hit it consistently or else he'll just drive the lane. He did, what was it? He won uh, this year's All-Star, what was it, rookie, sophomore, player of the game? I he think won it, one of those, yeah. It was either this year or last year. I mean, he looked good, but no, he plays defense in that game, so who cares? <laughs> Nobody's going to try to block his dunks no, in that game. No, right? So uh, he is athletic as all get out. He is, and he's a nice kid. I talked to him in his first year in the league. He was really nice, and, and he gave a lot of credit to the coaching staff really trying to help develop him. But you, to me, that's why I would just draft a known commodity in Obi Toppin. And a lot of guys that I've talked to, they're like, no, you just got you have to take a chance because – because, you know, what is there to lose? I'm saying, well, what do you mean what is there to lose? <laughs> what do you mean what is there to lose? You got the third overall pick. Do you really want to have an MKG or a Sam Bowie on your hands, damn it? I don't think you do. <sighs> you have to You have to get somebody in there that can score mm-hmm. and a wing. Mm-hmm. And that's why, to me, the safest pick is Obi Toppin. Now, everybody's like, why would you want to be safe? Well, cool. You go out there and get the guy that has a that could possibly be this. That could possibly possibly be that. And then what happens when he falls short because your coaching staff can't get him there? I don't know. I, everybody says you got to take the risk. Take the risk. Get Try and get the guy with the high upside. Well, what if he never meets that upside? Yeah. Uh, I don't... Your I, fan base is starving for sh- wins. I'm not sure about... Your, I think you're right about, you, you know, at three... I mean, even if it's not Obi, I just know what I saw from him in college, and he improved every year. They picked MKG at two, hoping they could teach him how to shoot a basketball. To, to, you know, to me, Hunter, I always thought once you make it to the at M- least college NBA, level, that that you can know shoot. how to shoot a basketball, like right. you have some type of form, and that was just god awful what they did. And MKG should have been a second round pick, if anything, maybe late first, mm. but not second overall. You he can't shoot. I mean, like, how can you how can you have someone on your team, Hunter, the second overall pick? And I would bet there's a thousand people in that stadium that can outshoot him. The owner definitely can. The right. owner beat him one on one. Yeah. The fifty year old owner beat MKG one on one. And that, and and, and, that, and they're wondering what wonder why he didn't work out. <clears throat> so again, you can talk about you know. Well, if LeBron's beating number two overall picks when he's owning the team at fifty five or not, <laughs> but the, the 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 point of that was is that that was just terrible. Um, looking at let, let me look at some of these salaries. We're talking about Anthony Davis. Hornets actually have the room to sign him. One of only like three or four teams. The Hornets have room to sign a lot of players. <laughs> the problem is they just can't coax anybody in. Hunter, you want to go play for? Wait a minute, you ready? Miami. What about him? They're twenty six million under the salary cap. And he this year made twenty seven. Think about the Heat adding the brow. Oh, I think they'd be nasty. Will they be the title favorites? Yeah. Uh, the Heat have the fourth lowest I think payroll in the league going into next year, guys. The lowest is the Hawks at fifty nine, Detroit seventy one. Neither Charlotte, one of them is making a, a run. Charlotte at 81. They're not making a run. Miami at 82. They Pelicans make a run. at 83. Raptors at 86. Phoenix and Minnesota and Sacramento are the teams under $100 million With You know, the way the NBA works out, Hunter, I say those are the only teams that, that could sign him. That's with their own cap money. The way the NBA mm-hmm. works is that they would do a sign-in trade or something if he wanted to go somewhere else. And, and that's just uh, – what if he has to go back to New Orleans? To go play, <laughs> go play with Zion. Yeah. Said I got mine. I mean, hey, think about it. He got his championship. He did. He did. He got his championship. 
And then now we can go back to New Orleans, play with the Lonzo and the boys. <laughs> he don't want to do anything with Lonzo Ball and them boys. Uh, so Lakers are 10 million over the cap, so they can't do anything unless they trade and let people, or, or they have to trade people even if they well, are going to let all listen, these free agents if, go. <laughs> if you are the Hornets and you do have probably the second lowest salary hit, yeah, or third was it, lowest, third lowest yeah. I, if I was you, I would actually try and be aggressive in free agency. I would. Because what good does it do for you to go into a place? Say, you, what good does it do? You Let's say it was a game. Like free agency was a game. What good does it do for you to go into free agency and say, oh, well, I have no shot? Just focus in on a, on one that doesn't do any good. If you see a guy and you think he can fit your system, why would you not go out there and at least talk to him and say, hey, look, we got a really good opportunity for you here. We don't necessarily have a true one. You're a fringe one guy. Like DeMar. Would you not think DeMar DeRozan would fit well in Charlotte? I think he would fit well. He's a scoring wing mm -hmm. why not you know i mean he'd be better than terry rozier at the two guard absolutely so why not you know, you gotta you have to be active and i just feel like they're not active they were active a few years ago when they were able to bring dwight to charlotte and what they do they made the playoffs but it just didn't work out after that chris says lebron passed kobe a while back he's better than Durant. both of those are false chris False. False. The, the, the LeBron the might be the better overall Victor. player, but he's not a better now, scorer than they either one, one of them. They played one-on-one. Who you picking? Who? Kobe or LeBron? They played one-on-one. Who you picking? That's tough. To me, seriously, that's tough. I don't even think it's close. I think it's tough. It's just because the size. What's LeBron going to do? Dip his shoulder and hope to kick it out to somebody? In one-on-one, Hunter, you have to shoot yourself. I know you have to shoot yourself. You do understand this. In one-on-one, LeBron can't pick up his dribble and then turn around and look for Porky Pig in the corner. I know that. I'm just saying. If he, if he wanted to take Kobe to the basket, he probably could. Well, that's nice. He strikes out on high fastballs. So I'm just saying. No, no. As a, if a referee's calling actual charges, no. I'm gonna go. I just saying on the one on one at the front of LeBron can't don't get by people. He just runs through people. I know. We talking if we're talking at the park. I mean, then LeBron just taking to the basket. But Kobe, you will keep it close because he just pull up anywhere. LeBron can't guard Kobe. That's got to no. take precedence. Can, to a can Kobe extent. stay in front of LeBron? Again, what move does LeBron have that people can't stay in front of? That spin there move. Isn't one. That, that spin move. Game, when he drives the lane and spins to his left. And that's four steps. So he gets four <laughs> steps. That's what I'm saying. All of, his, all of his great moves or great plays are aided by the referees or, or something else have other than have, his moves. Have you seen what he does before he shoots threes? How he like he stares seven, in that one spot. When he takes he seven slide steps and then jumps. They don't call that travel either. I mean, I'm just saying. They ain't gonna... I don't know. I just <laughs> what it like. The it's Hornets, so they fun. just if you're gonna stick with Hornets talk, they gotta do something to make themselves of like at least become intriguing for free hear agents. Something in the background. I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? I don't I wonder, hear anything. I wonder if one of my pages here is playing some stupid video or something. But I don't see anything hitting on my screen. No, maybe not. Know. Maybe not. It just may be the radio coming through, but. Uh, I've had fun today, though. It's it's uh, it's fun. Um, <laughs> it's fun. Uh, th this was the way too early power rankings for next year. The Hornets were ranked twenty seventh. If you were wondering, Oof, um, out of thirty, your, your Wizards wow. are twenty one. Uh, I'm not surprised. I will say this though: at least we have one cornerstone player. I mean, Rui. That's about it. I think Bradley walks. Seriously, I think somebody offers him a lot of money, and he walks. But then we're out of Bradley Beal. And John Wall, I mean, if he, he can come, if he can come back healthy, yeah. But he hasn't played in almost two seasons. So what am I getting? Fat John Wall? I don't want that. All right, Wednesdays we do, we do our NFL 